Hi everyone, this is Sledhead and I'm coming at you with my shave of the day for today. It's April 24th, 2018. And I did want to say uh, thank you for joining me for the shave today. Definitely do appreciate it. Hope everybody's doing well. Not doing, doing, not doing too bad here. It's a uh, Tuesday night. Just looking to get my, uh, my shave on here. Got a few days worth of growth here. Uh, I did a a quick uh, shave over the weekend, just I went ahead a couple days worth of growth. So I forgot to do this one on camera. I'm kind of get uh, prepped up for the week, you know, it's kind of coming up to midweek. You know, might as well look presentable for the rest of it, kind of. <laughs> okay, so to get into the uh, shave here, I did want to go just go through some of the equipment I'll be using for the shave today. Okay, on the hardware side, the razor I'll be using, I'll be using the Gillette uh, Super Adjustable, the AK Black Beauty. This is a 1983. See here, that's uh, looks like it has this uh, plastic base plate here. You'll see. So it's not metal. I think that started in the late 70s. Uh, this is actually my birth year, and this razor was kindly sent to me by Russell Barton, aka the Outlaw Shaver, on YouTube. So uh, again, did want to say thanks, Ross. Definitely do appreciate it. I'm very appreciative of it. Uh, the blade I have in here is a Gillette Silver Blue. This is its fourth use, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I've been liking this so far, though. The first few shades are pretty good with it, so we'll see how it goes here. Uh, the razor I'm going to have on setting 9. I just like to stick with that. It just seems to work out well for me there. <clears throat> okay, so there's the razor. The brush I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using Natural Hair Brush. This is a brush sent to me by Flash Boredom. It's the Wilkinson Sword brush. Oh, it's kind of wet. Have it soaking there in my little uh, apothecary mug. <clears throat> Boar hair brush. I'm still kind of working on this. I did have it sitting in the uh, refrigerator for three days in <laughs> cold water to work on. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I've only used it a couple times on camera. So, looking forward to using that. See, you know, if I can kind of hone my technique. Because I'm not quite as good with the uh, boar hair brushes as I am with, with the synthetic. But it'll come with time. Uh, the softer side. The uh, soap I'm going to be using today is the Taconic soap. It's the Bay Rum. I picked this up off of, uh, I think it was Walmart.com a while back ago. And not bad stuff. It's a glycerin uh, soap. Just the puck, hard puck there. But I figured I'd go with this. Uh, <clears throat> just over the weekend, my wife and I went hiking in the lower Hudson Valley. <clears throat> and this soap is actually made in New York's Hudson Valley. New York State we went to. So, just figured, hey, why not use this? <clears throat> so there's the Taconic Bay Rum. <clears throat> I think as a pre-shave, I'm going to use this if I don't forget again. It's the cocoa butter. It came in the stick. Yeah, so it came in this stick. I got it from Dollar General. I just figured I'd give it a try here. Kind of pushes it up like this. Once it's done, it definitely could be a shaving soap tube. Just go. It smells wonderful. Boy, that's a great scent. <laughs> Cocoa butter smells really good. I never, I don't think I smelled it before, really. Uh, the aftershave, I'm going to be using Old Spice. I just figured this would go well with the Bay Rum. So I'll go with that. And the balm is the Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Push Shave Balm. So that's the we'll be using for that. So that's the hardware and the software. So we can go ahead and uh, get the shave started. So let's go ahead and rock this shave out. Okay, so just to get started here, I'm gonna go ahead. Yep, Bay Rum. It's a really good scent. I like this. It's nice and spicy. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh here's the puck. Shake out the brush a little bit. Bring it to the puck here and start building up the lather. I thought maybe this uh brush might work out well for this since it's a harder puck of soap <clears throat> that these boar hair bristles will be a little stiffer help pick up the soap so we'll see just load it up here i try to give it around 30 seconds or so might be too much i don't know how oh, well if it is because <laughs> there's that i think we can work with that if we need to go back we always can so I'm just going to put a little more water in this. Okay, then I'm going to bring it to the face, start building up a face lather here. <clears throat> 
Yeah, Flash, you kindly sent me this uh, brush. I noted <laughs> these brushes do lose a lot of hair, so it's not just me. <laughs> I think I'll go with that. I feel like I can't build up the leather. It's really great. With these four hair brushes, but it's not bad. Just not as thick as I'd normally like it. Okay, so uh, first pass going uh, with the grain here that's going down like this. Yeah, the blade's definitely, I think four is done now on it. Not as smooth on this side. This side's a little better, but. so good not too bad here I kind of feel like the soap could be slicker but that just could be the blade that's uh, throwing me off there Decent scent. I think it kind of mellows out on your head, on your face rather here. It's not quite as strong as in the tub. Yeah, oof. The blade's just not as smooth now. So after this, it's going to have to get tossed. <clears throat> also found another hair there in the brush. <clears throat> yes, like I said, my wife and I went to, well, we went to the Hudson Valley to hike, actually. We never got to actually hike <laughs> the place we were going to go. It's called uh, Sam's Point. It's a state park in Ellenville, New York. We got to the, uh, well, we got there. It was like noon. I was like, you know, I'd rather have lunch now than eat lunch in like three hours. So we went and got lunch first. We came back around one. Or 1.30. And we get to the parking lot. Completely full. Had to turn us away. We had to find somewhere else to go. That happened to us before too. So it just really stinks to that place. Because you have to get there like really early. It's a freaking hike. It's such a pain in the butt. And at the restaurant we were at. There was a local, he was saying, yeah, people, the locals hate that. It gets just cra so crowded so quick. There's only 75 spots to park. And once it's not, you're, you can't. Okay, so go back for second pass here now. Self in the brush here, I think, and get a little more.
Yeah, it seems like this lather is not too bad, but just not the the way that I normally like it. Oh, here's another hair gun. Another hair gun. Okay, go with that. Second pass uh, against the Randall move from my nose out. So since we couldn't uh, go to that state park in New York, we ended up going to New Jersey. I live pretty close to New York and New Jersey, so it's not really that big of a, it's only a half an hour difference between the two places, or 40 minutes, something like that. So we ended up going to a state, state park in New Jersey, it's called High Point State Park. And we had meant to go there, I think maybe this summer, or rather last summer. But the weekend that we decided to go, that was the weekend that New Jersey decided to have some sort of budget issue and they shut down all their state parks. So we couldn't go. <laughs> three here. Yeah, so that's the third time I'm going back to the old soap here. I don't know, maybe these board brushes, I need to get a much more stout load on. Not that it's a huge deal going back. The soap's doing decent enough. Like I said, it's, I don't know, it's slick enough, but like I said, the scent's not overpowering either, but that's fine. Sometimes you gotta be careful with these scents. If they're too strong, then they're like giving the irritation and stuff, so I don't want that. Okay, so third pass will go against the grain. <clears throat> yeah, but uh, that high point state park ended up pretty being pretty nice. I didn't really know much about it before we went. And when we ended up Lost another hair. Getting there, they actually have a huge monument there on top of a hill. It's like a, an obelisk, you know, like in Egypt or like the Washington Monument is an obelisk. It's like one of those. And the, the main trail there is called the Monument Trail. It's like a loop, like a four mile loop. So my wife and I took that and we, pretty much ended at the monument. So we checked it out, pretty cool. Got some good views, it was like right on top of a mountain. That's what they call a high point, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, it was pretty nice though. Liked it, and after that, in that same state park, losing that warrior brush. In that same state park, there's part of the Appalachian Trail you can go on, so, you know, you can go 
west or east, <laughs> pretty much. So we just, uh, we went east a little bit, basically just to go down it and then right off, right where it kind of started. Oh, I forgot to put on the pre-shave, son of a gun. I just looked down and I saw it. <clears throat> oh well. It's not part of my routine, I'm not, I'm not used to it. But not too far away from where you get on the Appalachian Trail, there's like a shelter. So we just kind of walked down to that, checked out the shelter, and then by that time it was like 6. Uh, 6 o'clock, we wanted to get home. So we left, and that's like a 50 minute drive from there. So it wasn't terrible. A little dry now, not a ton of residual slickness, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think that's good enough for now. Okay, I'll go back for pickups here. I'm just gonna put a little water on this brush. Keep adding water to it, but. I'm not going back to the puck now because I don't need a ton of a uh, lather on for pickups. But overall, it was a pretty nice day, but we're definitely gonna have to go back to uh, Sam's Point. Get there early so we can get in, actually. Just me, uh, I'm gonna handle it. Just feel around here. I'm not gonna worry about too much right here or here because I've been getting kind of breakouts and I think it's due to overshaving or something. Maybe like right here in the chin. Yeah, like the chin area. Feels like. Okay, I think that's going to be good there. Let's go ahead and <clears throat> get a face here. Good, you know what? I'm just going to go right to the aftershave today, I think. <clears throat> the aftershave Old Spice. Not too much. So pretty good close shave irritation. Relatively irritation free here. Yep, and that old spice goes pretty well at the bay rum. I'd like to get a bay rum aftershave one of these times, but for now that works. <clears throat> okay, and then while that's drying down, we'll just go through again what we used for the uh, shave of the day. So the razor, again, it was my 1983 Gillette Super Adjustable, aka Black Beauty, uh, did a fine job. I said I had in setting nine, definitely wanted a close shave, like usual, so I stuck with that. The blade, uh, Gillette Silver Blue, fourth use, that's just going to come right out, definitely won't make another one. <clears throat> Excuse me. The brush, the Gillette, uh, sorry, the Wilkinson Sword. Brush, a boar hair brush there. It's uh I'm getting used to these boar hair brushes. I think I need to work on how to keep a sustaining lather with them. They lather up decently enough, but they're not the kind of big fluffy lather that I'm used to. So but a little good not a good little job there. Definitely got the job done. <clears throat> okay, the uh aftershave again was the old spice, I just put that on. And the balm, the Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Post Shave Balm. So let's go ahead and uh Put on a little of that. Good. Right there, just a little bit. Yep, very nice. That feels great. Always a good way to end the shave there with that Nivea sensitive bone. <clears throat> Let's put that back. 
Okay, so that does take care of the uh, sheet of the day for today. So I did want to say thank you for checking out the video. I definitely do appreciate it. Uh, please like and comment below. I definitely appreciate both. But of course, as usual, if you don't have enough time to leave a comment, no big deal. I hear where you're coming from. Just why don't you go ahead and smash that like button. <laughs> and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Definitely very much appreciate it. I put out videos every week. More than once a week usually. So <laughs> don't forget to do that. And again, I did want to say thank you for checking out the video. Hope you have a great night. Hope you have some great shaves.